Hello, my name is Nati. I hope you all are doing wonderful today. So I will be hopping right into y'all energy stash game. I want you all to take what fits, leave what does not. If anything does resonate with you, hit that like button, comment, subscribe to the channel. Squad roll is needed. Also, Sash Gang, thank you, thank you, thank you for all the love, likes, comments. Thank you for the support. Thank y'all for everything that y'all have been doing to help the channel grow, Sash. I really love and appreciate you all. All right, so Sash, I'm going to do one more shuffle. And we're going to hop right into your energy. Energy for Sagittarius. Okay, Toy Virgo Capricorn energy. I feel like you're in this Queen of Pentacles energy right now. You can be a boss, a business owner, someone very dedicated and committed here. I feel like you're standing in your strings here. You can have someone spying on you here. Okay, I feel like whoever this person is that you have that has been spying on you, they do want to reach out to you. I feel like whoever is spying on you is sort of kind of a wounded warrior right now. I feel like you are out here receiving your gifts or abundance, or you are in a time of celebrating and receiving. Um, there's someone here who's watching you that has a neutral connection or has been very passion passionate or compassionate to you here. I feel like you are kind of like a divine feminine energy, extremely intuitive, nurturing, and loving here. You have also been through um, a wounded warrior type of energy as well. But I feel like you're on the receiving end of things right now, Sag. So whoever this person is that is watching you, they could regret for repressing their emotions or not showing enough compassion and the connection with you. They do want to reach out. I do feel like they could need your help. They could need some sort of assistance or guilt from you. But I do feel like you are going to be very guarded right now when, when it comes to this person. I feel like you're more focused on your wish fulfillment. Now, you are this person's wish fulfillment here, but they turned their back on the connection or you for some sort of reason. Um, maybe they were needing a breakthrough in their life, okay? Um, but I feel like they have some sort of epiphany here, realizing that you are their wish fulfillment. You are the one that they can lean on when they need something here. I do feel like this person had a decision to make, or this could be your energy where you have a decision to make. If you're going to continue to focus on kind of putting that guard up, focusing on your wish fulfillment, being strong, or giving in to this person um, who has turned their back or repressed their emotions on you. I do feel like this person could have been in some sort of deceptive energy. Um, maybe they were full of desire, lust, or temptation. Um, they're watching you right now. But I feel like you're kind of being guided right now through your, from your ancestors here. So your ancestral guides are guarding you. They're kind of cooling you down in a sense. So even though this person had turned their back on you, you didn't go being aggressive or causing conflict. I feel like you chose to focus on what's going to make you um, financially happy or financially stable. So your ancestors are kind of steaming you down. Okay, so this person could have chose a third party um, they could have put someone in a connection, so they could have been dealing with a third party. They could have had a toxic lifestyle. They could have let family or friends or siblings come into this connection. Okay, this could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but they definitely let a karmic debt tear you guys apart, whether that's a career, karmic contrast, or karmic commitment. This is why this person was so detached and cold just watching you here, okay? Um... But they're watching you do some sort of transformation or undergo some sort of rebirth or rebirth your finances or they're watching your finances change here. Okay. Um, and I feel like they're going to want to reach out then, okay, because they're going to be having some sort of awakening. The longer that they distance themselves from you, the longer that they watch you and seeing you transform and being wish fulfilled just off the strength of yourself, you're not chasing them, you're not stalking them, you're not hounding them. You just focus on you and what makes you happy and, like I said, financially stable. You're very committed to this, okay? Um, you're focused on your soul's purpose right now, okay? Um, you're following your North Node. You're on your cosmic journey here, um, and you're following your purpose, okay? And I feel like this person in the present moment is watching you be abundant right now, 
they're watching you be beautiful and abundant. It could have been something to where um, there was some sort of disharmony in the connection and maybe a bunch of triggers between you and this person or conflict. Or like I said, they could have let this karmic get in the midst here, okay, and cause a lot of conflict between you and them, okay? But I feel like this only triggered you to focus on yourself uh, to get your, your emotions to a calmer energy regard to them and really just have good intentions into loving you and co-creating into healing here okay um some of you all could be healing from having a child um some of you all could be healing your inner child wounds doing your shadow work um this person needs to heal here maybe they have a child from this karmic that they need to heal from they're feeling bound or stuck in a connection or there's always a, a toxic constant pattern that they are awakening to when it comes to this person this masculine here okay um yo that's crazy i feel like some of these people avoided you or you're going to be avoiding them because it's always a constant pattern with this person always constantly conflict or triggering energy here that you're just trying to heal from okay this person um could withdraw from you just to go deal with third parties um, or they listen to others in their energy, dark, dark, low vibrational, dark energies here. They're low vibrational and dark as well. And I feel like you just don't want to be in that low vibrational energy. You really want to heal from that. Energy for sex, please, spirit. Thank you. There's no passion in my life. I feel like I'm stuck in Groundhog's Day. So I feel like there's no passion in this person's life. Um, they could also be realizing that they're in a toxic pattern here, in this toxic lifestyle or dealing with others or constantly causing conflict or, or drama in the connection. They're not even having any passion. It took me a long time, but I'm starting to not care about what others think of me anymore. So this person could have chose others just for a little, or like I said, it could have been karmic family members, karmic, karmic friends. Okay, this person could have put before you because they were worried about more what they thought than what you thought, okay? I'm looking for a sign that you still care. So you guys have completely shut out this person emotionally. Um, and they are looking for signs that you still care. They are watching you. They are stalking you. They want to know, did you give up on, on you guys? You also inspire this person to do things that they have never done before. So I feel like as they watch you, this is going to cause them to transform as well because they are realizing that they've had these types of patterns in your connection and the connection that they've been in that they let come before you. This could even be with a job here or with family members. So just take it how it fits. But if anything resonates with you, Sash, give me a like, comment, subscribe to the channel, swat rose if needed. And until next time, bye.